Trevor Maddens, can you taste it? Can you smell it? Can you feel it? I can, I can, all of the above, I can feel it. In my hair, I can feel it. I can't wait for this to get started. We are so close to the beginning of college football. Yesterday, the AP preseason poll was released. The top 10 came out. There's a couple of teams that perhaps you can ID and look at and say, eh, maybe that team or not. Which one of the top 10 do you believe is most susceptible to perhaps an early season stumble? Miami is the hardest one that I can get my brain wrapped around. Because I know their defense is national championship caliber. It is unbelievable that we talk about Clemson having the best group of defensive linemen in the nation. I think Miami has the best starting trio of linebackers in the nation in Zach McLeod, Michael Pinckney, and Shaq Quarterman. The question for me is the offense. They have outstanding skill people on the edges, but can they put together the offensive line pieces and can the quarterback position become more accurate? And that'll need to happen if Miami is going to finish this season as a top 10 team competing for a playoff. Mark Richt seems to have that program back to where the U likes to be, which is being in the conversation to be a top 10 team in the country, one of those early teams uh, to watch as they come in eighth in the AP Top 10. Speaking of the AP Top 10, Ohio State fifth behind Wisconsin. Paul Feinbaum said perhaps that's because of what we saw or what we're seeing with the Urban Meyer situation. Where does Ohio State's program go this year with a team chock full of talent? You know what, Matt? I think that with the Urban Meyer situation, just inside the locker room, this team might even be better because of it. Because when you have this kind of a thing going on, players in the locker room generally go one of two directions. Either they fragment and it becomes every man for himself, CYA or they band together as brothers even stronger. Mm -hmm. And there is so much senior leadership in that locker room that I think that's the direction they'll go. Now, Urban Meyer is one of the best game day tacticians, <laughs> in-game motivators in college football. And that will hurt to not have if he's not there. We don't know what will happen. But from a standpoint of the players in the locker room, they will be a better unit yeah. than they ever would have been had this adversity not struck them. We do know that the Board of Trustees will meet on Wednesday to take a look at the results of the investigation. I would presume that we would have an end to this by the end of the week. We don't know for certain, though. Yeah. I would like to play some Trevor trivia. All right. All right, ESPN.com, we just released the All-American team. Would you care to take a guess at which school had the most players on ESPN.com's All-America team? This year? Yes. This year, I would guess, well, I think Wisconsin would be a guess. I would throw them in there. I would say Clemson would be another one mm -hmm. that I would guess. Uh, those would be my top two. Ohio State would be a third. Okay. Alabama, I worry about. You are correct. It is Wisconsin. Okay. Wisconsin doesn't seem really? to be. Yeah, that's very wow. good. Okay. They should stay out of your ear next time. It no, it wasn't my ear. <laughs> I, I went to Madison this year. Yeah, but it seems as if. Wisconsin's just not getting a lot of chatter. Are they still overlooked despite being ranked fourth and despite having four All-Americans on the ESPN.com roster? Yeah, I think in a lot of people's mind, the weakness of the division they play in hurts them in terms of credibility. But this might be the best offense that Wisconsin has ever had. I mean, they have four offensive linemen that earned All-America honors last year that returned. Jonathan Taylor, their running back, broke Adrian Peterson's all-time freshman rushing record last year. Mm -hmm. But the real thing is that the passing game has a group of receivers that's the deepest and most dynamic that anybody can remember there, maybe ever. I mean, this is an ever potential offense for Wisconsin. You got the Alex Hornibrook coming back, the experienced quarterback, running back you'd mentioned, Taylor, pair of offensive linemen and a linebacker and TJ Edwards. Things could get good for Bucky this fall. Trevor Maddich nailing the trivia here on SportsCenter.